There are thousands of DOS games. Most of them are terrible. I play one selected at random with a 20 minute time limit and record it live. This is the result. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another random DOS game show. And we've got a classic for you here from the arcade days. From Nanko and Atari, it's Dig Dug. Press any key to start. Do you want full color? Yes. Do you have a joystick? No. Please hit the key you want to go up. We'll use the up key, down key, left key and right key. And then you hit the key you want to pump. 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 Well, we're going to use the space bar. One or two players, one. Now I warn you in advance, I'm terrible at Dig Dug. So let's give it a go. So you start in the middle and you're digging through the earth. Your goal, I presume, is to pump up all these monsters until they die. But you can see that the monsters can turn into ghosts. And one of them can shoot fire at you, which is not so good. So let's get rid of this monster here. There we go. Uh-oh. Uh, let's just go this way. Yep. Now, now I'm in trouble. Um, they're both following me. Let's see if I can use a rock to my advantage. Probably not. I'm not clever enough to do that. Here we go. Rock! Yes! Okay, now I've got to kill this plant guy somehow without him burning me to a crisp. Oh, he turned into a ghost to get through the wall. Is he leaving? He might just be leaving. See ya! Bye! Hey, that works for me. So let's just avoid the plant guy thing. Oh, he's, he's after me already. And there's another ghost. I didn't use the rock to my advantage there. I think that uh, plant guy must be extra score or something. Because there's no way I'm going to get him. Oh, I walked straight into him. What an idiot. Fortunately, you start where you left off. If you've got enough lives. Now that guy's going to become a ghost. He's going to walk straight into my path. And I killed a plant guy for extra score. And this guy seems to be wandering off. Let's see if we can cut him off at the pass. He's going to come up here. I'm going to go over there and I'm going to pump him. Like this. Gotcha. <laughs> it's got a lovely little PC speaker. The graphics... Oh, ran straight into that guy. Game over. The graphics are, you know, palatable for a PC booter game. It's one of those that's horribly, horribly, horribly addictive. Listen to that lovely theme. It's just got that uh, gameplay down perfectly, you know? You could play this infinitely. Indefinitely. Infinitely, not so much. There is a limit to human life, you know? Let's see if we can do what we did before. Right, he's coming up here. Can we intercept? I don't think we'll get there this time. Come back! Coward! Oh well. Time to die in this level. I also noticed you can just slightly go through the walls there with your pump. Oh no. Ran into a bit of a cul-de-sac there. And that's important. You've got to take note of where things are, where your environment is. Like, I shouldn't be digging here. This is a bad idea. Right. And then pump. And he'll leave. I think. Oh, I've killed myself with a rock. I wasn't paying attention. Okay, there's two of these plant things that can... Oh, he's turned into a ghost at the wrong time. Game over. Ah, I think I'll play one more. But, yeah, this is probably, probably going to be top 25 stuff. Which sounds crazy when you think of the graphics and sound. But as many of you know, it's not about the graphics and sound. It's about how addictive this game is. Can I, can I pump you? No? Oh, oh, oh. First level. Dying in the first level. That's embarrassing, Lonnie. There we go. That's more like it. Obviously, the uh, technical limitations mean that if you are doing PC speaker, it can only play one note at a time. Let's see if I can get this guy. I'm doing really badly, by the way, in this one. Not entirely sure why. 
And I think when he's down to the last monster, he just tries to escape. Not doing too badly for somebody who's never played Dig Dug before. Starting to lose my voice here. Ah, he got me. And the curse of Lonnie strikes again. I said it was doing all right, and now I'm not. So what is Dig Dug? Well, I didn't need to play that much, did I? It's a fantastic little arcade game. It's a PC booter port of an arcade game from the good old days of coin-chewing arcade goodness. Would I play the PC booter version? I mean, it's quite enjoyable, actually. But I suspect that if you went back to the original, it would probably be superior in terms of colour palette and gameplay. But all in all, I had a good time. And maybe you had a good time watching me feel miserably. Having said that, you can clearly see what's good about this game. You don't need me to spell it out or give you a 20 minute video about what's great about Dig Dug. I suspect this is probably one of those that Windmill Software also got their teeth into. So you might want to check out their version, if they've done it. I think they might have. Because sometimes their versions are even better than the original ports. And if you like me talking about random DOS games, I do it all the time. Feel free to take a look at the hundreds of other videos on the channel. And if you like what you see there, you can always subscribe. And if you are able to blow up your enemies without any issues, you're probably one of my pumping mining patrons. With pump in one hand and pickaxe in the other, they can take it to the monsters. Wonderful folk. So yeah, before my voice is completely gone, I'll just say, yeah, dig dug, good game, go play it. Whatever version you fancy. Until next time.